Can you be more specific? Oh, the mess. Funny story. It all began at Medburger. Adequate burgers today. Yeah, you can barely taste the shredded newspaper. Ugh, I said no mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't act like that. Hey, who's telling this story? So where was I? Oh, yeah. We were so embarrassed by Amy's uncouth behavior that we left Medburger. <gasps> Whoa. Everything okay, miss? Are you? Yep. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog, fastest hero in the world, purveyor of justice, righter of wrongs, eater of chili dogs. <laughs> oh, calm down, Percy. It's just all your dreams coming true. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. I'm used to it. Just breathe slowly and tell Uncle Sonic what happened. Clearly, she fell off her bike and hurt her arm. Oh, Amy, don't be jealous because I'm paying attention to another. <gasps> don't mind her. She kind of has a thing for me. Who wouldn't? Exactly. Now, let's see what we can do about that bicycle. Knuckles, bring it over here. That's a boulder. I said bicycle. But I'm not angry because I know that you're a simpleton. Thank you, Mr. Sonic. Hi, Percy. You've been injured. I know what to do about that. Lecture you on bicycle safety. First, never ride a Amy, bike. What Percy really needs is a splint for her arm. Wow. You sure know how to take charge of every situation. And voila. I couldn't find a bicycle, but maybe one of us could ride this to get one. Sorry about your scarf. I should have known I'd mess it up. I always do when I'm not under Sonic's direct supervision. Huh. As a man, I could fix this with my bare hands. However, it would be quicker with the proper tools. To Tails' workshop! Hey, watch out for that robot! I'll bet she's a spy, broadcasting our secrets to her mechanical overlords. You know, the ones who make the microwave blink 12 o'clock, even though you just said it yesterday! Ah! Don't pay attention to her. She's actually very nice. Tails? I guess he isn't here. No matter. I'll heroically repair this bike with only my bare hands and a welding laser. Amy, you tend to pour Percy's injury. Mm -hmm. Knuckles, you clean the scarf that you so carelessly ruined. Tails' industrial strength lab kiln seems like the perfect place to dry a frilly, delicate scarf. This heating pad isn't enough. Knuckles, get Percy a pillow. You're not the boss of me. Sonic is. But I'm bossy and overbearing, and I need everyone to do what I say to compensate for my own insecurities. <laughs> Don't throw it at me. Hand it to me nicely. <laughs> Kids, behave yourselves! This is why we can't have nice things. So I stepped into action, Sonic style, and put out the fire. Which must have been caused by Knuckles putting that scarf in the kiln. That's not what happened. I'll tell you the real story. It had been days since I last laid me eyes upon the elusive white whale. Knuckles, we're talking about what happened to my workshop. I'm getting there. So, the white whale had just trashed Meburger. Wait, I'm the white whale? Shut up. We were heading back home when we came across Percy. As usual, Sonic made a fool of himself. Hi, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Never heard of ya. But who's your friend? I'm just a humble echidna. Which is why I won't brag about my boyish charm, unimaginable strength, and ability to think real good. You know, smartness-wise. Wow. Muscles and brain smartness. I know. Medic! Split up this pretty lady's arm! I hope I can live up to your expectations, Captain Knuckles. Oh, Amy, you've forgotten what an arm is. This is an arm. Wow, you are the whole package. And here's the gift wrapping. Oh. 
<laughs> Sonic, you clumsy oaf! Perpetual second banana! Look what you've done! Come, my lady. We must go to Casa de Tales to repair your bicicleta before Sonic does any further damage. Come on, guys! Wait for me! Hey! Be careful of that alien! She'll abduct our livestock, phone home from our houses, and turn us all into pod people! It's a cookbook! A cookbook! Ah! Don't pay attention to her. She's actually very nice. <laughs> ah! Sonic, can't you do anything right? Your scarf will look brand new, but it'll never look as lovely as its owner. How does this heating pad work? Mm. A pillow for my maiden fair? Hey, I'm the medic. I'll give her the pillow. I want to give her the pillow so I can be more like my hero, Knuckles. <laughs> 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 So I put out the fire using my ice breath. It probably started when Amy threw the heating pad on those old newspapers. She's not very brain smart. That's not how it went at all. I'll tell you what really happened. We all agreed the service at Metburger was terrible, so we left. That's when we ran into Percy with her little damsel in distress act. I seem to have fallen from my bicycle and injured my little old arm. If only there were some heroic gentleman to rescue poor little me. <laughs> You're pretty. Would one of you handsome young men kindly retrieve my bicycle? <laughs> Even with my friends under the spell of a wicked siren, I selflessly administered medical care to the foul temptress. Oh, you poor sweet thing! Allow me to tend to your wounds. Now, let's see to your bicycle. I know where to get it fixed. Watch out for that government agent. It starts with jury duty and zoning ordinances. And before you know it, boom! Our tax dollars are benefiting others and not us! Don't pay attention to her. She's actually very nice. <laughs> Sweetie, you rest here. I'll get a heating pad to make you more comfortable. Knuckles, would you please clean the scarf? And Sonic... Maybe it'd be best to just wait for Tails. No way! I can totally fix this! Watch this, babe! Uh. My poor little arm is aching so. If only I had a cushion on which to rest it. <laughs> Let me give it to her! She wants me to give it to her! <laughs> ah! As the only mature one in the room, I extinguished the fire, which started because Sonic forgot to turn off his welding laser. You're making that up. You were Put reckless the scarf with the tools. In a kill. I can't help being attractive. It's a blessing and a curse. Enough. You'd think with three stories, one of you would get it right. Now let me tell you how it really happened. I had a minor accident with my bicycle when... Hi, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog, hero extraordinaire. You don't happen to have a wrench or some tools I could use to fix my bike. No, but maybe I could interest you in some gift wrapping? That's okay. Don't worry, I can fix your bike. No, I will! You're just loving this, aren't you? Having men fight over you? A modern woman could take care of herself. I can take care of myself. But like I said, I don't have any tools. And I hurt my arm. I suppose you need me to bandage that up for you? Nah, it's just a bruise. <sighs> Look, I need to get moving. Do you know where I can find some tools? Nice to meet you. She seems nice. Allow me. You sit back and relax while Sonic saves the day. Okay, I'll just wash my scarf. Please, the honor is all mine. Well, then I'll just rest my arm. All right, all right. I'll get you a heating pad. Talk about a drama queen. Would you like a pillow? No, I'll get Percy a pillow. Oh, now the princess wants a pillow. <laughs> How did you guys get in here in the first place? We just walked in. And there weren't lasers or cages or anything like that? 
Nope, just a popping sound and some electrical buzzing. Ugh, I know what happened. My new defense system must have short-circuited, which means I'm the one responsible for the fire. Classic tales. So irresponsible. Guess we're off the hook. Who's up for Mad Burger? I like a guy who's handy. <laughs> <laughs>